this is a big news story and it can have implications on our country so I wanted to feature it on my channel for the purpose of documenting history uh, and you've got a mix of several different uh, groups of people. You've got uh, many different uh, media here, fil uh, TV and film crews all over the place. You have these protesters, and you have people that are just walking by, walking through the area, and uh, are holding up their cell phones to, to document this moment. Uh, but also, uh, back before I got here, there was that pretty heavy uh, Trump uh, protest to supporters of the former president. And uh, again, they were lined up holding flags, uh, one uh, with the, a sign that had Trump's mugshot saying never surrender. Some of the supporters have been saying uh, they were saying that Trump's motorcade uh, was going to be coming, but uh, that did not happen yet, at least that I've seen. Um, the supporters were also chanting President Biden's name with an expletive. of one uh, supporter of the former president uh, that I spoke to said that this is a, a, a great thing for the former president, a great verdict uh, for him, because it basically ensures in uh, her eyes that he will be reelected. There was also a sign said, uh, saying that Bragg hates America, referring to the Manhattan District Attorney. So uh, back here now at the intersection of Worth and Center Streets, this uh, anti-Trump protest is continuing, and I'm going to try to make my way closer to the courthouse. Matt Rosenberg, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM, live in Lower Manhattan. Wins News Time, 5.51. And our coverage continues this afternoon of the verdict in the Trump trial. Guilty on all counts, former President Donald J. Trump has been convicted of falsifying business records in the first degree. All are felonies. Sentencing has been set for July 11th, Mr. Trump. Uh, no bail was set for Mr. Trump. Each count carries up to four years behind bars, although it is unlikely that he will be facing any jail time. But we'll find out on July 11th when he is sentenced. It was a jury of Mr. Trump's peers, New Yorkers, five women, seven men, all residents of Manhattan. They delivered the verdict in just under 12 hours of deliberations. They got the case yesterday morning asked for a readback of key testimony this morning and then just after 4 30 this afternoon notified the judge that they had a verdict they asked for 30 minutes to fill out the verdict sheet it is indeed a long sheet again 34 counts these are complicated counts prosecutors say mr trump falsified those business records to cover up hush money payments Former porn star Stormy Daniels, who testified during the case, was paid $130,000 just ahead of the 2016 election to keep her silent about an affair she said they had. He denied that affair. He denied all of the charges. Mr. Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, who we have not heard from yet this afternoon, testified that he arranged for the payment to Stormy Daniels. In fact, he made it himself and that Mr. Trump reimbursed him, a deal that they talked about, finalized in the Oval Office. After the verdict was announced today, Mr. Trump was described as being stone-faced, looked down as the verdict was read. We have not heard from any of the jurors. Uh, they have been quiet there. Their identities were kept confidential throughout this case. But we did hear from Mr. Trump after the verdict was read. This is what he had to say to reporters outside of the courtroom. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting, we'll fight till the end, and we'll win. Because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now. From prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists. And they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble. But this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. 
and we will fight for our Constitution. This is long from over. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Trump just after the verdict was announced this afternoon. Mr. Trump found guilty of all 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Our Julia Papa, who has been following this case since day one, she was in the courtroom this afternoon as the verdict was read. Jury four person delivered it using a microphone and went down count after count after count. And by count five, guilty as Donald Trump sitting at the defense table just shook his head in apparent disgust and a disbelief. He sat there then looking straight ahead, said something occasionally to his attorney as the jury four person announced guilty for all 34 counts of falsifying business records. That is an E felony. And sentencing has been set for July 11th. Each one of those counts carries up to four years in prison. It is unlikely, though, that Mr. Trump will be facing any time. He could be sentenced to probation. He has a clean record, but that's all up to the judge. And we'll hear about that on July 11th. We're also going to hear right now from 1010 Wind reporter Carol Dioria, who has also been following this case. Carol. Well, Lori, this is so historic. The first time ever that a former president has been found guilty of criminal charges. And he, of course, was furious after the verdict was read. Uh, moments after they went through all of the charges, the president went into the former president went into the hallway and he said, I am a very innocent man. I'm fighting for my country. This was the work of the Biden administration to hurt a political opponent. He then went on to say the nation is in serious decline. He spoke about the migrants at the border and he said the country is in trouble. And then he used the words that he has used so often that this was a rigged case involving a crooked judge. Uh, the case, of course, will be appealed uh, so that there will be no going to jail right away or anything like that. They will appeal the case and then we'll see what happens. But the judge has sent uh, sentencing for July 11th. He faces up to four years in prison on this on these charges, 34 charges of filing uh, of uh, falsifying business records. And, you know, these charges had expired, but it became elevated once they tied it to another crime. The crime being allegedly that he uh, tried to influence the election. We're hearing reaction from a variety of people. New York Attorney General Letitia James reacted to the verdict on X. She posted, no one is above the law. And we know that the Attorney General led the prosecution uh, in the Trump civil fraud case earlier this year. It resulted in him being found liable for hundreds of millions of dollars. We also heard from Republicans like Elise Stefanak. The verdict shows, she said, that how corrupt and rigged the American justice system has become under Joe Biden. She called it a zombie case. But then we heard from Democrats like um, uh, Brad Hoylman, someone here in the city, and he said that he was just so grateful for Joe Bragg for doing such a great job. And um, the the uh, Manhattan prosecutor Joe Bragg is going to be um, Alvin Bragg, rather, is going to be holding a news conference where he will react to this further. And so there's been a variety of, uh, of, of people who had something to say about this. Um, I was looking at uh, one of the TV monitors. You could see the president's motorcade leaving the courtroom. The, the sidewalk and the streets were packed with people. This was a very emotional case that people have very strong feelings about. And, you know, every time something has happened to, um, uh, to Donald Trump that was negative, his poll numbers seem to go up. So we'll see what happens after this, whether that will be the case or whether at some point this is going to have a negative effect on him. Lori? And, you know, Carol, all the people that you just talked about who have reacted, Letitia James, uh, Congresswoman Stefanik up in Buffalo, we haven't heard from some of the people involved in the case, have we? Stormy Daniels or Michael Cohen? Um, they were sort of the star witnesses in this case. And Michael Cohen has been very vocal uh, for years. But have, have we heard anything from him this afternoon? As far as I know, we have... As far as I know, we haven't heard from him at all. Uh, you know, he was on the witness stand, and it was the defense's whole position that he was the liar. Remember, they called him Gloat, greatest liar of all time, that uh, he had a revenge, that he wanted to uh, see Donald Trump go down. Uh, and interestingly, one of the the, uh, the case here, the judge, Judge uh, Juan Marchand, said that uh, Michael Cohen was an accomplice here. And they could not just convict Cohen, uh, convict uh, Donald Trump based on uh, what Michael Cohen said. 
they had to see that there was other information, other evidence that would tend to show that uh, the president had was willing to commit a crime, commit another crime. So uh, they apparently must have found that. And, um, you know, it would be interesting if we do get to hear from the jury. Sometimes you hear from the jurors after a case and sometimes you don't. Uh, we know very little about these this jury. It was seven men and five women. So um, we'll see what happens uh, after this. Okay, 1010 Winter Reporter Carol Dioria. This is WINS, WINS FM, and HD1 New York. We're now going to hand over our coverage to my colleague, Larry Mullins. Larry. WINS, WINS FM, and HD1 New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins at 92.3 FM, New York. Thank you, Laurie. Force of habit there with our ID sounder. 70 degrees and mostly cloudy, folks. We're at 6 o'clock. I'm Larry Mullins, and here's what's happening as you've been hearing. Guilty on all 34 counts. That's the word from a 12-member panel hearing the case of former President Donald Trump. Trump now a convicted felon, and he will be sentenced July the 11th. He will undoubtedly attempt to appeal today's ruling, but a legal scholar suggests his appeal would be groundless. Will he serve a day in prison, though? That is the million-dollar question, and we've got a few answers which could set precedents for how this country deals with felons who happen to once sit in the most powerful seat in the world. What bearing does it have on the campaign for president? Well, there's nothing in the Constitution which says he can't run, and there are questions tonight as to whether this will turn the tide on scores of people who have supported Trump from day one. And then the other big question tonight, what did him in? What caused the jury to come back with guilty, and what one thing led to their decision. 1010 wins covering the verdict from all angles. AccuWeather is partly cloudy and cool tonight, dropping down to a low of 56 degrees. Wins news time 601 and from the Mercedes-Benz of Edison.com traffic center now. Here is Greg Rice.